Okay, so we are going to talk today about the difference between hollow spectra and solid spectra and the advantages to both. With spectra, there's definitely not a right or wrong or black or white. This one's better and this is, this is worse. But there's differences between the two when you might use one um, versus the other. So solid spectra is most commonly going to be used in the little bit lighter line sizes, 50, 60, and 80 pounds, sometimes heavier. Um, hollow is more commonly used in the larger sizes, 100, 130, and 200. But that's not a rule. So the difference is obvious that one is hollow. So in the middle of this line, um, it's hollow. And that allows for a few things like uh, rigging advantages. You can take your line and put it inside of it. So connections can be real small. Um, one of the other advantages of hollow is you can always splice two hollow spectras together. So if you've got a reel that's full of hollow spectra and you get in a tangle on the boat or just something happens where you know, halfway down your spool you have a problem, the advantage of hollow is you can cut it right there, get some new hollow and splice the two back together and refill your reel. Sometimes like every couple of years, I'll just take the top hundred yards of hollow spectra off of my reel and re-splice it new. So you have a nice clean line that doesn't have any twists and it casts a little better. Now, solid on the other hand, it's a little bit skinnier, so you can get a little bit more of it on your reel. The other thing is there's a little bit less drag in the water. So some people feel that your bait is going to swim a little better when you're using solid spectra as opposed to hollow because there's not as much drag and it's not catching as much air to allow your bait to move a little better. The disadvantages, though, are it's not spliceable like the hollow. Um, so, you know, there's there's ups and downs to both. I would say the rigging and spliceable advantage of hollow is very nice. And let's face it, we're all trying to get a bite. And if push comes to shove and you're fishing a nice skinny line and solid spectra and your bait is swimming that much better, that might be the difference between getting a bite or not getting a bite. So. One's not better than the other, but they're different, and that's for you to decide. But that's the main differences between hollow spectra and solid.